This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Lauren Pastrana, a University of Miami professor who specialized in drug crime is being accused of money laundering. Federal authorities indicted 73-year-old Bruce Bagley on money laundering charges. Investigators say he laundered $2.5 million of funds sourced from bribes and embezzlement in Venezuela and kept a percentage of the money. UM has placed him on administrative leave. Bagley is denying the charges. We're learning new details about a triple shooting that left one man dead. It's a story we first brought you as breaking news yesterday morning. Investigators say three men opened fire during a gathering at a home. 20-year-old Jamal Pice was killed. Pice was the subject of a CBS4 report on December 20th, 2015, where he survived after being shot seven times near Alapata High School. CBS4 has also learned it's not the first time someone has died at that home. Another man was killed in a drive-by shooting six months ago. Investigators don't know if there's any connection to these previous cases. Two others, including a 13-year-old, are now recovering from their injuries. We're also learning new details about a massive yacht fire in Fort Lauderdale that caused millions of dollars in damage. Fire investigators now say it does not appear suspicious. Flames quickly spread through two luxury yachts just after four in the morning Saturday, destroying both boats. It took two days to put the fire out. While investigators say the fire was not criminal, they still do not know how it began. Damage is estimated at $20 million, the largest property loss from a fire in Fort Lauderdale history. Happening today, Miami-Dade commissioners could vote on the fate of Formula One racing in South Florida. Last month, Miami Garden City leaders voted not to bring racing to the area after residents raised concerns about noise, pollution, and traffic. Organizers initially had their sights set on downtown Miami for the Miami Grand Prix. Back in April, they shifted their focus to Miami Gardens near Hard Rock Stadium. There hasn't been that type of outreach. It's kind of seen, sounds like, you know, they want their race and that's what they want and that's what they're going to have. And, and our point simply is that people actually live here. Miami-Dade County Mayor Carlos Jimenez says he would like Formula One to come to Miami-Dade, but has not figured out what compromise would be made to keep residents happy. Now, CBS4 weather with meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez. Happy Tuesday. It's a nice, cool, comfortable start. 68 in Miami, 65 Fort Lauderdale, 76 in Key West. So you still need a sweater, a jacket. And we're dealing with some patchy fog and spots, a few clouds, dry wind. Right now, mainly calm or light out of the west. And temperatures will climb to 80 degrees. So while you'll need a sweater this morning, you'll be peeling off some layers this afternoon as it'll be pleasant. High risk of rib currents along the Atlantic beaches, some coastal flooding possible around high tide times. Small craft should exercise caution out on the water. Seas three to six, a light chop on the bays. Another cold front will allow temperatures to tumble tonight with the coldest readings inland with 56, 59 along the coast. So tomorrow morning you will need to bundle up as it will be quite a chilly start and highs will be in the upper 70s for your Wednesday into Thursday. Chilly again with 50s in the morning. Highs in the upper 70s Friday morning waking up to the low 60s and highs in the low 80s and of course we're in for another cold front as we head into the weekend, Lauren. Lisa, thank you. That's the news for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com and tune into CBS4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all of today's important headlines.